I even think of him as like a hustler, you know what I'm saying? Like, he had to pave his own way to break into mainstream cultures. I remember he didn't want to be just like the sidekick, you know, because he knew he was more than that. He's just as intelligent as the next man, and he really wanted to take it to, you know, throw some dukes. He knows how to throw dukes, too. He didn't really have anybody to model after. He was the first of his kind to combine all these different styles and just the things that he came up with is just groundbreaking. Visuality, the dance group, the Jabberwockies have exploded onto the scene. And for them, Bruce Lee is one of the reasons they thrive. Bruce Lee was an icon, somebody who wasn't afraid to be different. He believed in what he did, and he believed what he did was powerful and, and was something that was going to impact the world, and it did. For the Jabberwockies, their dancing is just like Bruce Lee's Jeet Kune Do. It's not one style, but many styles. If you were to throw the beat on, boom, boom, cat, you get boom, boom, cat. Or you get boom, boom, cat. It's just using your body in a different way. So really, our dancing is like fighting. We're just not throwing p punches or kicks. I know for a fact that he's influenced all of us. A lot of people kind of thought of it was weird. These guys dancing in white masks, why are they doing that? How come they're mixing so many different styles of hip hop dance? Why are they fusing so much? That's how Bruce Lee was. He's applying all the movement philosophies to martial arts, but everything he says applies to us as, as dancers too. Because what we do at the end of the day is just another form of movement. Just as if training for a fight, the Jabberwockies put in the time working out and preparing for every performance. Bruce FC! Oh, 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 oh. Coming up, the Jabberwockies' embrace of the spirit of Bruce Lee seems great in theory. But how will it work when they hit the stage in Las Vegas? Empty your mind. And the Jabberwockies, inspired by Bruce Lee, take Vegas by storm. <laughs> Bruce Lee's ability to see people, not colors, resonates with the Jabberwockies' own goals. Just because we're Asian doesn't mean we're not down with hip hop. You know, hip hop is, is colorblind. And I think that's what Bruce Lee viewed himself. He's just colorblind. He loves all different races and he just loves. When we wore the mask, people didn't probably really expect to see Asian guys behind the mask, especially how like we dance and you know what I'm saying? We fought to become where we're at right now. <laughs> the reason why we look up to Bruce Lee, because, I mean, this is in the 70s, you know, when there's a lot more ignorant than I, I would assume that it is nowadays. He broke that barrier for Asian Americans. With the spirit of Bruce Lee giving them inspiration... Let's be like water, my friends. ...the Jabberwockies put it all in action when they take the stage. Oh, 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 oh. Because he had such a profound philosophy, that is what allows him to still be in people's minds today. We still talk about him. The ideas still grow in the hearts and... 